Welcome back, guys. This is an all-new test I've just started called our 28-Way Chinese Coatings Longevity Test. This test is either going to be absolutely amazing or hugely disappointing. I've used about six of the products that we're going to be installing here today, so I have a rough idea of at least how those may hold up, but the rest is truly a crapshoot. This is one of my least expensive tests to date, totaling less than $400 for all 28 of these products you're about to see. For reference, my 22-way professional-only coatings test that is starting at the same time alongside this test was about $4,200 or over 10 times as much. Like you, I'm interested to see if any of these low-dollar Chinese coatings hold up compared to some of the big boys here and other coatings available on the market for a DIYer. If you spend a little time researching more about these coatings, you'll find that there's a lot of similarities and I'll get into that here a little later in the video. The similarities that I come across, a lot of similar bottles, similar smells, I'm trying not to sniff them or anything, but similar packaging and so on and so forth. And a few of them, they try to hide the fact that it's made in China. And one of them, I'm not really sure if it's real or not, it's a Kisho 811. As far as I know, Kisho is a Japanese coating. I actually came across it on Amazon of all places. Some of these coatings came from Amazon, some of them came from AliExpress, and some are available in both places. But if I saw it on AliExpress, I tried to order it. I ordered most of them back in January of 2021, and they didn't show up until June or July of 2021. So that's, you know, just to give you an idea. And then here we are starting in October of 2021. So these coatings at their oldest, or I'm sorry, these coatings at their newest are likely about 10 months old. So some of them are newer than that. And I know some of these only have about a 12 month shelf life, which is why I'm trying to get these installed as fast as I can. Had a lot of other tests. This is one of the last tests I needed to get started for the year other than my glass coatings test. Now onto the hood. If you recognize this hood, it's because it's from my old 42-way coatings test that just recently ended after over two years, and it's been used for a test before that too, but it's getting in pretty poor shape, so this is probably the last test I'm going to use it for. This is from a Subaru WRX, and the water spotting you see on it isn't actually from water spots. It's some sort of reaction that the paint had to my adhesive remover that I was using, taking off all of the old labels. It'll all polish out, but it isn't out of the ordinary for Subaru paint to do some weird stuff stuff like that. It is only fitting that we use a cheap Chinese polisher for polishing this hood for our cheap Chinese coatings, and that being our $90 Bauer Random Orbital Polisher. I'm using an IGL microfiber cutting pad and a shine, and shine Supply Chop Top Diminishing Abrasive Compound. On hard paint, you can actually finish this out completely in one step. Really pretty impressive stuff. It's very dusty though. It's not going to happen here. I'm finishing it out with Rupes Fine Polishing Pad and Sonax Perfect Finish. Links to all that as usual will be in the video description and because I have no idea what's in most of these I have my 3m organic vapor filter cartridges and respirator that I'm gonna be wearing along with gloves can never be too cautious First up, we have AutoCan, made by Lixen Industrial. You'll find that that is a big manufacturer of a lot of these coatings in China. And next up, Avalon King Armor Shield, also made by Lixen Industrial. Looks pretty familiar to that last one too, doesn't it? There is a reason behind that. We'll get into that in another video.
HK Tianmei, made by Gungzhao Nyoji. 57 cents per milliliter. Not a lot of info on this one. Nano Age 9H, very similar to Nanobond. This is made by Lixen Industrial also. We had Nano Age, now we have Nano Bond, also made by Lixen Industrial. $36.90 on Amazon, but also available on AliExpress. Diamond 10H Auto Ceramics Coating, also made by Lixen Industrial. Fantastic XML, also made by Guangzhou Nyoji. So this is the other large manufacturer that you're gonna find in this test. Ah uh, yes, the infamous Mr. Fix 9H, made by Guangzhou Nyohi. Very inexpensive, $3.13 or $0.10 cents per milliliter on AliExpress, about $10 on Amazon. Mr. Fix 10H. It only makes sense that it's made by the same manufacturer, Guangzhou Nyohi. Fantastic XML Fortify Quick Code. It's a Shine Armor knockoff made by Guangzhou Nyohi also. This one showed up in my P.O. box. It's called HGKJ Car Paint Coating, made by Anhui Lianman Material Technology Company.
42 10H graphene. This one I was only able to find on Amazon. I can't find it for sale anywhere else and nor does it say who the manufacturer is. Okasi 9H made by Lixen Industrial. So this one's sort of an oddity. This is Kisho 811, and I don't know if this is a knockoff or if it's the real thing because my understanding is Kisho is a Japanese manufacturer, but this one obviously said made in China. Looks like it's made from Guangzhou manufacturing there, but I can't really tell. It didn't have any markings or anything otherwise like that. Lock Bonzo, made to look like it's made in the USA, but it has a made in China sticker that was added to it. No idea who the manufacturer is, it's not marked anywhere, can't find much out about it online. Global Auto Parts Crystal Plating Agent made by Hangzhou Pinzi Technology. Different manufacturer than the other two that we're always seeing here. Cisco 9H 2.0 coating made by Lixen Industrial. Warixen or Warizen 10H. This one is, I really can't tell who manufactured it. It says it was the manufacturer located in Shenzhen, China, which that's where Lixen is, but I can't confirm that. It is the same bottle that Lixen uses, but again, I can't confirm or deny that. D Pro. I don't know if this is a real or a fake one. It says made in Japan on the bottle, but the package said made in China. It was plastic wrapped and it had a sticker that said made in China on it. So not 100% sure where this one's made. Nanotech 
This is made by Rising Star Nanotech, so it's a different manufacturer. Has a similar bottle as some of the Gung Zhao uh, ones, but it is a little bit different. And it did say to let it naturally dry, but I couldn't get it to be consistent, so we leveled it anyway. And when we did level it, it was extremely, extremely grabby. Shine Polisher. This looks like window cleaner, but it is another Shine Armor knockoff. It has no instructions, very inexpensive, three cents per milliliter. Paid $3.18 shipped from China from AliExpress. Shine Armor, this is the straight up knockoff and you can tell it has a lot of misspellings, direc directions. <laughs> uh, the more you look at it, the more hilarious it becomes. And this is where the real Shine Armor would have been but I've tried three different times and they have canceled my order all three times. I don't know what the deal is, but it's not gonna be in the test. So instead, I'm just gonna put the Shine Armor knockoff on that space and I'm sure it will perform the same as the fake one. But we know from my other tests that the real one, the real Shine Armor doesn't last very long either. And this one is called the Emperor card. The directions are not in English at all. It looks like wait three to five minutes at 20 degrees, something like that. But obviously no, no information on manufacturer who made it and so on. Eelho 10H, the advertisement actually said 12H, which obviously doesn't exist. 10H is the top of the pencil scale hardness. $1.98 shipped from China. It is seven cents per milliliter. No really clear directions other than pour it directly on the surface and smear it in. Mud Armor 10H. The bottle looks familiar, but it's nowhere stated who it is. And then the directions talk about a crystal A and a crystal B, a part A and a part B, to apply one then the other, but there was only this bottle in that package. So I don't know if they mix the directions up or there's supposed to be another bottle. I guess we'll find out. Auto care, quick dry coating. You guys, I was so tired when I was applying all this. It was like two o'clock in the morning. I removed the tape, was ready to go in, and I realized that I didn't apply this. So very last minute, I said I already have my gloves and my respirator off, and here I am just trying to apply it without disturbing the neighboring panels. So it did get applied, and hopefully it performs as it should. So you can see here the cost per milliliter. In my professional only test, the average cost was around $3 per milliliter. And these are between 33 and 60 cents per milliliter on average. A few that are cheaper and then Nanobond and Avalon King are much more expensive than the average. And there you have it. This is your Chinese coatings only longevity test. You guys asked for it. 
here it is. We're gonna let this sit in our shop until the 1st of October, and then we're gonna set it outside, wash it weekly for the first month, and then of course we will do it monthly after that until the last one fails. On October 1st, we're only gonna do a rinse only. These haven't had a full seven days to cure, so we're gonna give them the same chance, same opportunity that the professional only ones and any of my other coating tests have. Make sure they achieve their full cure time before we go ahead and continue with the test. So you can see after removing the tape, unlike the professional only coatings test, these you actually can see a lot of differences in the darkness or the richness, I guess, of the paint. This is a different hood. It's a different kind of paint. This is Subaru paint. It does some weird things, but I'm sure this will change right after the first wash, not necessarily the first rinse, but the first wash. So we'll pay attention to that when that time comes. As always, I'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up on this video. If you like these kinds of tests, make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell icon so you get notifications when new videos like this go live. Comment down below, tell me your thoughts about this test. Hundreds of hours go into tests like these, between the research, the prep, the application, and of course a lot of time behind the computer to edit and narrate these videos. So if you do see something you like, please consider buying them through the links in the video description as it does help the channel out. And you can always support the channel other ways as seen on your screen here. Thanks again, guys. Stay tuned. And I'm sure a test like this is going to be fantastic. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon. <music>